Welcome back. Starting this summer, South Florida's newest sport, bikini basketball, hits the town. And while the women don't wear much, they've got serious skills. Here's Kylie Williams of the hometown team, the Miami Spice, with the details. All right, Kylie, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I mean, how could I not be good? Bikini basketball is coming to town. That's right. Don't even know what it is, but it sounds like Christmas. <laughs> what, uh, what is bikini basketball? Bikini basketball is a brand new league. Uh, to the nation actually it's not just stationed in South Florida we're expanding and spreading out it is a league full of beautiful women who can play basketball and look good in bikinis so you do wear bikinis while playing basketball we do not wear bikinis okay. literally while playing I think things might get carried away with that right but we do wear um, a little show-off kind of attire more uh -huh. like a sports bra and you know I like to refer to it as like beach volleyball okay. kind of uniforms like that. This is um, this is nuts. This whole thing is insane. How did this all come to be? This is the first season. This is the first season. Yeah. How first did you season. find out about this? Twitter. What better way to find out okay. about anything in the nation than Twitter? Yeah. So on Twitter, I just kept seeing retweets of Miami Spice, and then the words bikini basketball came up, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm a basketball player. Wait a minute, I like bikinis. Put them together, <laughs> so... And then there I am. <laughs> wow. What is your athletic background? Well, I played I played middle school basketball, high school basketball, but I didn't really decide basketball was going to be my life until probably 10th grade okay. of high school. And then I really started getting dedicated, started playing, and then um, got a scholarship to play in college in Seattle and played a couple years there, had a few too many surgeries, and yeah. then threw in the towel on college, but I still play, so... It's, yeah, because when you're playing college basketball, it's never anyone's dream to go, I can be in the Bikini Basketball That's Association. That's right. Yeah, you, you definitely <laughs> expect to go, you know, the traditional route right. of, you know, Division One or WNBA or overseas pro ball. But then when life happens and you can't continue that, Bikini Basketball is right there. Hey, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm a huge proponent. I'm going to buy season tickets as soon as we're done with this interview. <laughs> the, so first there was the Lingerie Football League, right? Now there's yeah. this. Mm -hmm. What's next? Topless tennis? I mean, how, how far are we going to go with this? You just never know. But we, we don't look at it as more, we don't like to compare ourselves as much to like the lingerie football. <clears throat> Pardon me for saying this, but basketball in general is a better sport. Okay. So okay. when you put two and two together, it's not going to be kind of the same type of league. We're more about showcasing our talent as opposed to, you know. Your, your bodies. Our bodies. Sure. So. Um, since you just trash talked football. I, I no. what I think we should do is personally is get someone from the lingerie football league here, and you two can debate. Sure. And if you want to wear the appropriate clothing, that's fine. That's you know, we'll set it up, whatever. But I think we need to we need to make that happen. All right. So tell us about your team. Tell us about Miami Spice. You guys good? We are good. And yeah. I don't want to say that just because it sounds biased to and, say and just we're because your coach is sitting best. literally right you here know, watching us. That. Yeah. But um, we are good. We're a good group of girls. We mesh well together. We have talent from all over, all different shapes, sizes, looks, backgrounds, everything. So we're a complete team. And a lot of the girls played, like played basketball, college, I mean college, mm -hmm. like a few overseas girls are now coming to Miami Spice to play. So it's we're good. We're a good team. So for people that want to come out and watch, and when your first game is uh, June, right? June 1st. Yeah. Tentatively, June 1st. So, so people want to come out. Um, what kind of style of basketball do you think it'll be? It's going to be, I mean, I want to say it's going to be elite basketball. Mm -hmm. It's very. It's going to be very competitive. I know when you hear, like, for me, for example, when I first heard bikini basketball, I was like, oh, gosh. Bunch of girls running up and down a court, <laughs> right. laughing, like, giggling. Tickle fighting. Exactly. Yeah, right. Pillow fights. Who knows what <laughs> right. would happen? But it's going to be very competitive. Okay. It really is. We're we're there to win. Right, but no so. no pillow fights. No, not on the court. Maybe no. in overtime. <laughs> Maybe that could be like the way to halftime settle it. show. We'll see. Oh Whenever my! We get... we're, yes, we're marketing this whole thing. That's okay. Right. We're going to talk to one of your teammates now. It was nice. great to meet you. You too. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. And um, we'll bring you back for the football versus basketball Let's do debate. It. Okay. Let me know when. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And from one shooting guard to another, we pick and roll over to Kaisha Alexander, Kylie's teammate. Okay, one shooting guard is out, the other shooting guard is in. Yes. Kaisha joining us, how are you? 
fine. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to know you both play the same position. Yes, we do. Yeah. I won't ask you to trash talk who's better, who starts. <laughs> we, we don't have to do it. We'll save the trash talking for the other team. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Definitely. Yes. Um, all right. So as we, as we said earlier, the first game is in a couple of months. What is training like now? How hardcore are these practices? Oh, training is tough. Um, we're on the beach Tuesdays and Thursdays. You're on so the beach. we're yes. Okay. Running in the sand. Sure. Running on the concrete. We're running around blocks. Whatever we need to do to get right, to get our body in good physical shape, to look good, to look better, because we already look good. Sure, obviously. <laughs> yes, of course. And be at a physical competitive level. You we're know, doing all of that. It's interesting because I'm thinking, and I don't think LeBron and D Wade run around the beach in their bathing suits to train. Oh, no. So this is just, you guys have domain on training on the beach. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Right, and your coach is a man, so <laughs> I, I wonder why he has you running around on the beach. Can't, can't seem to figure that one out. But, no, we can't, no. <laughs> what do people say when they see all of you beautiful women running around? Oh, of course, they ask us, who are we, where are we from? They're like, oh, good job, ladies, run harder. They're like pushing us, and they don't even know what we're doing it for. Yeah. But um, it's fun. And it's hard work, so in the end, it's definitely going to pay off. Uh, we didn't. Uh, I didn't ask Kylie this. Where are you guys playing? Where are the games going to be? Well, we're going to be playing at Nova Southeastern University. That's in Davie, Florida. Mm -hmm. So our games are going to be there on Saturday nights or Saturday afternoons. Yeah. What What's the reaction been like when you tell people what you what y'all are doing? What are people saying? Uh the first reaction is what? Bikini basketball? What is that? Right. You know, and it's 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 the initial reaction. People just want to go see girls in bathing suits. Right. But from my perspective, I feel like it's a phenomenal opportunity. It's an opportunity for those girls who haven't made it to a professional level to go to the WNBA. So we get the opportunity to be on TV, to show off our talents and our skills, and to be something that we never thought we could have been because we thought all our dreams were crushed when we couldn't do the other things. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about your history as a basketball player. Yes. Did, did you dream of one day playing in the WNBA? Definitely. I tried to go overseas. I wanted to do the WNBA thing. I've been playing since fifth grade. Um, I won a championship with my college team my senior year in college. So I definitely had high expectations of playing at a higher level. Last thing I want to ask you is, this is... Um, I would imagine, from your perspective, very empowering for, for women and for young girls. Yes. Who, you know, it's just another avenue for them to grow and, and become athletes. Yes. So talk to me about that. Well, I come from a, a, very, a very big family where I'm the first to go off to college. You know, so I want to be that role model for these younger women who don't know how to get there or need help with the steps to get there. See, I've been through it all, you know, so I feel like I can, and my teammates, we come from different backgrounds. We can inspire these young women to get out there, follow your dreams. Don't let anything stop you, no matter what people criticize or say about it. Go with your heart. And we want to be able to inspire these girls to be able to follow their dreams. And if you look good in a bikini while doing it, <laughs> you know what? So be it. Exactly. Or even better. You can't beat that. All right. All right. <laughs> so people want to come to your games. People want to find out more about the Miami Spice. How do they do it? Um, you can go to follow us on Twitter at SpiceMiami.com. We're also on Instagram. We're on Facebook. And if you have any questions about anything, games, tickets, you can email our marketing director, Sarah, at SpiceMiami.com. And it's S-A-R-A. -A yes. At SpiceMiami.com. Yes. All right. Listen, good luck. I'll come out and watch the games. Great. I already said I'm buying season tickets. <laughs> we'll see you out there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kaisha, and good luck, ladies. When we come back, if you're a poet and you don't know it, or even if you do know it, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on in Miami in April. We will tell you about it in an ode to poetry next.